African Anti-Corruption Commission now says that it has arraigned a total of nine former and sitting governors of a graft. EACC Chairperson Bishop David Oginde says that many current governors are under investigation over corruption. The EACC Chair noted that there is a backlog of graft cases with more dragging for years and is now urging the parliament to hand over prosecutorial powers to the anti-graft agency to speed up the cases, as Grace Korea details. <laughs> ESC Chairperson Bishop David Oginde now wants Parliament to amend the Anti-Corruption and Economic Act to give the Commission powers to prosecute criminals. If that was given to or, or delegated, and that is a possibility, and we would like to uh, discuss that with DPPs, it's not taking over their role, but if that was to be delegated uh, to ESCC, then we can be able to prioritize and forward these cases uh, more expeditiously than it is happening right now. That is the idea behind it. In its second quarterly report that details the body's investigations reports, the commission has listed individuals, among them former governors, that it wants the ODPP to charge in court. We have uh, governors and uh, county uh, leaders who seems like their only purpose of getting into government was to loot public resources. Some notable names in the report include former Kiambu Governor Ferdinand Waititu, who together with his spouse and daughter are being investigated for allegations of conflict of interest in the award of tenders amounting to 50 million Kenya shillings to companies owned by them. ESCC recommends they be charged with five counts of conflict of interest, 15 counts of abuse of office and five counts of unlawful acquisition of public property. Another one on the list is former Kitui Governor Chari Tingilu, who is said to have instructed the Kitui County Public Service Board to irregularly recruit and subsequently appoint officers to the Manifesto Implementation Unit. ESCC recommends the former governor and three members of the KCPSB be charged with two counts of abuse of office. The commission stated it has received and processed more than 10,000 reports of corruption and unethical conduct relating to county governments. Grace Kuriakanja, TV 47. Now,